In today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences in limb grade quality. So the difference between a sub $200 limb, a mid-grade limb, and your top of the line, latest, greatest, brand new limb that costs over $750. So I've had a lot of questions and requests on specifically why uh, are different limbs, different prices, the benefits and drawbacks to each, and you know, just some information about what you are getting for your money and where you can spend your money best. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery, and we're going to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'd appreciate it. All right, so we're going to get into talking about the differences in limb qualities, like what the difference is in a cheapest limb. You know, some limbs are available uh, under $100 and then your mid range limb that's somewhere in the like two to $400 range, give or take, and then talk about the top uh, latest, greatest quality limbs. First, we're going to get into talking about the cheapest limbs available. So generally what these are are just really budget friendly limbs things that really aren't going to be in the limbs are going to be high modulus carbon you're not going to hear really that being talked about um, you're not going to be really hearing about you know advanced materials or advanced machining or anything along those lines because they're just trying to save costs everywhere now high modulus carbon is expensive and we're going to talk about that later in the higher grade limb uh, section so stay tuned for that but you know generally speaking these are going to be made faster with less quality materials less quality resins and on less quality machines because they're trying to pump out tons of limbs because generally more limbs are bought at the cheaper levels so they've got to make their money up in the volume now, they aren't necessarily bad. You know, I think there is a time and a place for the cheapest set of limbs you can possibly find, especially if you're looking to go up and wait soon, you're a youth archer and you're growing, things like that. You really can't go wrong going with a cheap, cheap limb. You know, especially if this is your first setup and your first thing, go with the cheapest set of limbs you can find basically because then you can spend your money more wisely elsewhere. Like in coaching, I've always suggest you can't buy points when it comes to equipment. You could buy points if it, when it comes to coaching if you do your due diligence and put in your time and listen to your coach. So if you save money on equipment, you can spend it more wisely elsewhere. So there is a time and a place for those cheap limbs. You know, even adults, if you're gonna be grow, going up in weight, not growing anymore, but if you're gonna be going up in weight um, and you really don't want to, you know, say if you had a set of 30 pound limbs and your goal was to be using a 40 set of 40 pound limbs, at the end of a year or two. Well, going from 30 to 40 is a big jump and you really can't manage that with just going to one new set of limbs. You really should start with a, you know, a limb somewhere in that middle range, maybe a 34 pound limb, 36 pound limb, something like that. And then adjust your limb bolts to compensate for the bow weight. Um, but I just, I don't think that jumping that much is a smart thing. So it would be smart at that time to spend as little money as possible on a set of limbs that you aren't necessarily going to use for forever. And then you can turn them over to your club, you know, donate them, sell them at a cut rate, whatever for somebody else just like yourself. That happens all the time. I've done it myself. Now, we're not going to talk about the mid-grade limbs yet. First, we're going to talk about the top quality limbs, and then we're going to talk about the mid-grade limbs. You'll know, see why in a second. So the top, latest, greatest, most expensive limb available, generally speaking, just has cutting edge materials, cutting edge processes, and really, really a lot of time was spent on making those limbs as best as possible. So the way a limb is made, there are basically three or four main components. Um, you have your core material, which is in the middle. And generally speaking, on the outside of that core material is different layups of carbon fiber. Now, that core material can be made out of either wood or foam, and then uh, the carbon itself on the outside is made of different types of carbon. So they'll talk about high modulus carbon. Modulus carbon, in a nutshell, is basically um, how light it is, how stiff it is, and a couple of the properties that it describes. The higher modulus carbon is gonna be lighter and stiffer, but potentially more brittle, and the lower modulus carbon is going to be more supple, uh, but very heavy, and that definitely lowers the performance of the limb, because generally speaking, when you make a very light limb with very high modulus carbon, uh, in my experience, 
more kinetic energy is transferred to that arrow directly. So it's a slightly more efficient. Now, I'm not saying faster. Yes, these manufacturers will say this is a faster limb. It is faster because it is lighter, but because um, there's more energy transferred into the arrow, it makes it a little weaker. You have to back your bow weight down. You lose that bow speed, and it essentially is the same speed that it was with the lower modulus carbon. Now, is it faster at the same draw weight yeah but it's not actually faster when you really compare apples to apples so you can shoot essentially the same arrow with just a little bit lower weight and it actually reduces your speed a little bit so like i said it's just efficiency levels essentially now the core materials don't really change from year to year generally they're either foam or they're wood the different types of woods have changed over the years from maple to hard rock maple to now heading towards bamboo so those change over time and different costs to process each different type of material, of course, and that will reflect in the latest, greatest bows and the latest, greatest limbs. Outside of the actual materials of the limb itself, there's the wedge, which is uh, different materials and different limbs, the way they machine their tips, whether it be through a CNC or a hand filed in a jig. Lower quality limbs will be hand filed, higher quality will be machined out of a CNC machine. And then there are uh, differences in the actual quality of the uh, materials in the detent and things like that. And all of that essentially culminates into different levels of limbs. So the higher grade limbs are just really going to be the cream of the crop, the latest stuff, the different weave patterns, because not only do we go with different modulus carbons, but then different biases, so different layups different layers instead of all the grains growing this essentially laid out this way they'll do bias ply so they'll do it in uh, 45 degree 35 degree they'll change the angle that the carbon is laid up and they'll get different per performances now those different performances really will reflect in the price because it takes a lot of time and a lot of R&D. So they have to recoup their money that they're spending by making you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of sets of limbs that cost a ton of money when they're only making one set because it's prototype. And then they test and do their, their uh, you know, refining and then they finally come up with a limb and the way they recoup their money from all that R&D is they charge more. Um, generally, like I said, the materials are more expensive because high modulus carbon is expensive and all this R&D raises the price and everything. Um, so that's why high quality, high price limbs are expensive because they're trying to recoup their costs. What about mid-grade limbs? Mid-grade limbs are basically one to three year old tech. And it is the same exact limb that was from one to three years ago uh, of the latest and greatest limbs with a different logo on it, basically. It's not extremely different uh, from that. Generally, that's the way that the industry among not just archery, but all industries kind of go. Uh, your mid-grade mid -grade, uh, level equipment is basically old tech that is still good it's just not on the cutting edge. So they've already recouped in, uh, their R&D costs, and so then they can lower the costs more to essentially move more volume and still make money that way. Now, like I said, the cheapest limbs are just made as cheap as possible to gr get more out the door to make more money through pure volume only. Yes, there is a top-down trickle, so the lower-grade limbs do get better over time because they've already paid off their R&D and paid off their expenses elsewhere. Unless you're not going to be changing bow weight for years to come, I wouldn't spend my money on the latest, greatest limbs. You don't really need to have them. Mid-grade limbs are really, really good limbs. You can spend the money on these limbs if you have the ability to, but if you're kind of on the fence of, do I get new arrows that are three years old by now, or do I get the newest set of limbs that I've already gotten you know, a new set last year, I'd get the arrows and get a mid-grade set of limbs or find somebody's used set of limbs that have really taken care of them. Um, you can grab some really good quality sets of limbs used from people that are at your club that always have to have the latest, greatest stuff. You know who they are, and you can grab their stuff at a heavy discount from last year's stuff, um, which I definitely would recommend if you have that ability. So all in all, there's not really a huge difference between the mid and upper grade limbs um, other than, you know, the newest stickers, the newest colors, the newest whatever. 
potentially some slightly different materials. It's, you know, just keep an eye out on their website for if they're really cutting edge tech, if they're really something and pushing the boundaries and they can give you a lot of information as to why it's better and not just tell you it's better, then I may suggest grabbing that if you can. But going with a mid-grade $400 or less limb is just fine and it will work for the majority of most people out there. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button, the subscription button, and the notification bell. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, head to my website, jkaminski.com, where you can find information on Patreon, apparel, books, and uh, digital coaching as well.